Hey guys, Zerka here, and welcome back to my Mere Wall career mode series. And uh, we start this game going straight. We start this game. We start this episode going straight into a game. And uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you for everyone's continued support on this series. I've been uh, uploading quite a bit of Ultimate Team videos recently, and loads of people have been commenting on those saying make sure like you don't uh, stop the uploads of the career mode, which I won't be doing. And I know uh, some of you might be a bit frustrated because I uh, haven't been uploading these debt like the career mode bits daily. Uh, so I'm probably going to try and get into a routine of uploading both a career mode video a day and an ultimate team video a day to keep both parties happy. And obviously, if some of you like both of those uh, series, then obviously it's more better for you. It's more better. It's just better for you because you get to see two videos per day. Uh, so that's kind of upload rate I want to try and work towards at the moment. I'm also going to try and start doing some things where I know people don't like to, uh, people asking for likes, but I'm probably going to start doing things like if you get to a certain like X amount of likes, I'll upload a bonus episode that day, uh, purely because it gives incentive for people to like the video, and then it kind of just obviously the more likes I get, the happier I am about my YouTube and stuff, and it kind of works. They kind of work together. We can see the league table here. Um, I'm nine points away from Norwich. Uh, with four games left to go, and Swansea have already hit 100 points, which is crazy. Swansea completely like destroyed this league this uh, this year, and um, have a look, look at our scout report and see some of the players. They see here this guy has a possible uh, or maximum potential of 94, uh, with ni and that also includes 94 dribbling. So I decided that I would sign him and these other two players. Uh, the maximum potential wasn't even above 80, so I decided that I would get reje I would reject both of those players as I wasn't really interested. Uh, I was only going for players with maximum potentials of over like 85. Um, or I, I, like I was saying, I said that, but that guy's got 84 there. Um, we're looking at our youth squad at the moment, and uh, as you can see, we've got quite a few good players lined up in this youth squad. So hopefully, once they're all eligible to play, I'll either sign them and uh, actually put them on my sub bench or whatever, or I'll sign them and I shall place them uh, on, on the loan list and hope that someone will pick them up on loan and hopefully they can get some match time. And hopefully that improves them because I've told a lot of you, a lot of you guys told me that that is a great way to improve them, get them some game time. And usually they come back and they're a lot better than when they, when they went out. And now we're going into a very big game for this season. It could be a game changer, it could not be really. Well, not a game changer, a season changer. You just see, look, we're nine points away, four points left, to, four games left to go. That's just a maximum of 12 points that I can get. So I can finish on a maximum of 95, which would mean that Norwich can only get three points in the next four games, which is highly unlikely. But if, if it's going to happen, it's going to have to start off with me beating them to in order to uh, like kind of destroy their morale kind of thing. But as you see, straight away, 17 minutes, Snodgrass uh, picks up a, a rebounded header off. I think it was off the crossbar there. And we've now moving into the 27th minute. Wallison cuts in, passes it to Edwards. Edison uh, luckily gets a little bit of a lucky bubble uh, after it kind of like bounces off their defender. And he had a shot and that was saved. Uh, Wallison then passes it here to a Vidal in the 33rd minute. Vidal then puts Henry through down the line. And uh, Henry brings it in, has a shot, and that is saved. But luckily, it falls straight into the path of Wallison's head. Wallison gets up, headers that, uh, to make it 1 0 in the 35th minute. And this game is shaping up to be a great game. It's a very end to end game, lots of end to end action, lots of chances for both sides. And you can tell that Norwich were a side in second place, as they were probably one of the toughest opponents that I've played all season. And uh, it's a very good game. Uh, Wallison does a nice, uh, it was like, not on McGee's win, it's a stop and turn there. On the stroke of half time, but that that didn't, that was to no avail. But luckily, the ball then falls down to Romero Vidal there after a header, and uh, he slots that into the bottom corner to make it 2 1, put us in the lead just for half time, the perfect time to score. And uh, Vidal is just a beast, and we might have to say goodbye to him very soon, so it's going to be a sad time if we say goodbye to him. Um, Cragno then pulls off a save from their shot there, but unluckily for him, it falls straight into the path of Houlihan, and he then makes that. Houlihan, is that, is that his name? I think I, I feel like I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Um, but that made it two all, and again, showing up to be a great game. Now we've into the 73rd minute, and there's lots of chances in this game. I've, I've cut it down into the best highlights that there was. But uh, Vaughan managed to finish that with a great finish, brought it down on his chest, and followed that into the far post. Come up, and it just connected off of the post, went in, uh, and that made it three two. And from there on, I was ultra attacking. I was pushing for that goal. I needed to get a goal to at least get a point. But a point doesn't really suffice anyway at all. I needed to get the three points. I was hoping I could get a lucky two goals. It just didn't seem like it was going to happen. They had a very solid defence. Uh, and I was pushing. The goalkeeper was doing really well. I was making some tons of saves. See there, look at the shots on top left. Uh, Norwich had seven shots. Norwich had had ten shots. Uh, but luckily, the 90th minute, Vidal uh, turns the defender there after bringing it down. And uh, makes that 3 all Picks us up a point. But it's not going to be good enough, I don't think. And uh, I can see the Norwich... That was it. That's full time. And all the Norwich uh, players are celebrating. I think that means that they're... So yeah, I, I thought they must have been mathematically been promoted. But as you'll see in a bit, they're not actually mathematically promoted. I can still catch them up, but the, I have to get the maximum amount of points and they can't pick up a single point. So unless they're celebrating getting, like, I don't know. I can't, I can't really think about what they're celebrating because it's not like they're even 
they, they were already secure to get the playoffs. So I'm not sure what they're celebrating. But as you'll see, I'm going to show you the league table here. And they're on 90. Ah, oh, it, it must have been that then. It must have been the playoffs. I just said, I just thought it's one game. Yeah, okay. So it must have been celebrating that they had been in the playoffs. But you can see we're nine points. We have to get maximum amount of points to catch up with them. So it, it doesn't look like it's going to be very likely that I'm going to get into that second place. Which now means we need to start focusing on a get like winning the playoffs. Basically, we, we, we are definitely the strongest side out of the four teams that are going to be in the playoffs. Whatever teams they are, but the teams that are currently in there are definitely stronger than all of them. So we should be able to do it. It's just a lot of pressure under me to actually be able to do that. So hopefully we can pull that off. We can get in the Premiership next season, and that will be awesome. Um, we're going to our next game here against Nottingham Forest, and they gave us a pretty good. They gave us a pretty good game. They started off really well. Uh, they put us under the cosh for the first 20 minutes there. You see they had a nice shot there from the edge of the area, kind of a turning volley. And they, and, uh, they managed to pick up the save for that. But now then, you see this pace down the right-hand side, crossed it into Wollaston, and that was a counter-attack that almost paid off, but it didn't. Uh, 24th minute now, they have a corner, and they cross that in, and they get down, and they, Craig managed to pull up that save, and, they, and then luckily, Abdu was on the line there to save that. Uh, Vidal then puts uh, James Henry through in the 30th minute, and uh, he, cuts, he comes in towards the centre, and I think that was my that was basically my mistake. I should have carried on going towards the centre and shot to the far post. But instead I tried to be cheeky and lob him for some reason. And that's one, that's one of my worst habits. That I have the tendency to try and lob goalkeepers on this game. And I still have managed to break out of it. And it just doesn't work on this game unless the ball is like... Unless you get lucky really. It doesn't really happen that much. It's not the most effective way of scoring when you're through on goal. But luckily Vidal picks up a goal there in the 45th minute. Again on the stroke of half time. To make it 1-0 for us. And Vidal... Again, being a tank, I don't want to talk about it much more because it's going to be sad to see him go. Um, and that loads of you guys told me that I needed to start scoring uh, with Wollison and not scoring with Vidal. Because obviously I don't want Vidal's price to increase anymore. And I want Wollison's price to increase uh, so that I can sell him on enough in it, for an amount of money that would make it able for me to sign Vidal himself. And again... Vidal has another goal, but yeah, looking like that isn't actually going to be possible. Like, 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 like the way Wallison was playing and the way Vidal was playing, it wasn't, didn't seem possible. Wallison also kept getting really tired uh, towards the late stages of this season. I kept having to play Benzia, uh, starting Benzia or bringing on Benzia pretty uh, quick into the game. Um, you see there, I played that game, won that 2-0, and uh, Norwich won their game as well. So it doesn't look like we're going to get that second place at all, but we are also... Pretty decent amount of points ahead of the rest of the teams in the playoffs. So that that, po that bodes quite well for us in the playoffs. You see, Vidal's got 26 goals and his top goal scorer. And Edwards has got 18 assists and is the top assister. And Edwards has been great. So I said he was a free agent. Like He's just been so good for me this season. He's been a great replacement for Keo. Keo hasn't even got a look in the side since he got Keo got injured. He hasn't had that single look in the side. Edwards has been great. He's got tons of goals for me. And, he's, and obviously, as you've seen, he's got tons of assists. And he's been a real gem of a player to find. Especially if we found him as a free agent. Um, he's only young as well, so he could turn into a great player. Uh, as, and as you've seen by his growth as well, his growth has been growing really quickly. Uh, so he might have a lot of potential. We we'll have to see. We, maybe we could, maybe we could even sell Edwards and get Vidal if we sell. Mm, you know, it depends how much. What what the key point is is seeing how much they actually want for Vidal. Like how much are they going to ask for him? Because, yes, he's valued at 7 million, but they may value him a lot higher because, obviously, he's only young. And they might think, ah, oh, well, give it 10 years. Well, not 10 years. <laughs> That's a long time. Give it 5 years. Oh, okay, again, 10 too many years. Let's say give it 2 or 3 years and we could sell him on for 20 million. You never know. So that's probably what they might be thinking. Uh, so we have to see how much they want for him. Then we have to see what, what kind of... So I guess, I guess what we have to do, we have to put an inquiry in for him, see how much they want. And then we have to try and work out what kind of players we can sell. But then we also have to make sure that we bolster our defence in the summer as well. Because if we're going to get into the Premiership, I don't think our current defence will be strong enough to cope with the Premiership uh, attackers. We have to see, because yeah, it's going to be a risk. If I sign Vidal, is it worth signing Vidal when I could sell my players and then strengthen my whole squad with that money? I could sign, maybe, like, if, say, say if I was going to buy Vidal for £7 million, I could probably sign seven £1 million players that could strengthen my whole side opposed to just signing one striker that I'm hoping that will score me some goals to keep me up in the Premiership. We'll see how it goes. You can see we're playing against Burnley in this game. We're doing pretty well. We're winning 2-1 in the second half now. Certainly third minute. And uh, the ball falls to Henry here on the edge of the box. He does a nice uh, shot fake to cut back. And uh, that makes it 3-1 in the 75th minute. And that is all pretty much game over. We then move into the 89th minute here. Benzio passes it to... Uh, Lucas Piazon here. Piazon runs down the left, has a shot that goes narrowly wide. He went for the, went for the near post and didn't work. And that game finished 3-1. And uh, that now means that, that this is our penultimate. That was our penultimate game, and we now have our last game of the season coming up after this one. But there's not enough time to show this in that episode. Uh, so in the next episode, you will see the final game of the season and possibly the playoff games. 
Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, then please do leave a like. It helps me out so much. And if you have any feedback to give, any constructive criticisms, then please leave a comment. And I shall see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.